Hola y bienvenidos to the audio number two and video number two in the vocab builder for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Las Aventuras de Victor en España. Okay, so I hope you um, enjoyed the first audio and I hope you understand now what we're, what we're doing. We're just being silly and trying to find ways of remembering uh, words so that you will build a fantastic vocabulary. All right, so we're starting again with the letters A. Okay, and this time we're up to the word year, as in this year is 2014. Okay, so year is año, año. Okay, now um, we have English words that have the same sound that talk about year, like the word annual, annuity, annual. So it's this año, which is referring to year. So even the Queen one time, a um, long time ago, said, This is my annus horribilis. Okay, so it's the similar word in Latin, año. Año is year. Okay. Now, next, antes is before, okay? Before is antes. Now, how we're going to remember that is just a silly little thing. My uncles always arrive before my antes. So, my uncles always arrive before my Antes, 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 before. Mm -hmm. So, next one is old, and that is antiguo, antiguo. So we have a very similar word, which is antique. Yeah, it's virtually the same. When you see the word, you see. It looks the same as antique. Antiguo. Antiguo. So it's so old, it's antique. Antiguo. Excellent. Next one. Now, you're going to have to stretch your imagination in this one. Nickname. Okay, a nickname. This is something that people give you or... Um, uh, a name that you give yourself, for example, on the chat room. In, in Victor's Adventures, he gives himself a name on the chat room. Um, and this is Apodo. Apodo. Okay? Apodo. So this is what I want to, you to imagine. Imagine you've got a pea pod, okay? Nice big pea pod and you crack it open. And on the inside is your nickname, okay? On the pea pod, apodo. All right. <laughs> so you pop it open, and inside is your nickname. Apodo. Okay. Next. Notes. Notes. Taking notes. Okay. The notes that you take are called apuntes. Apuntes. Okay. So how are you going to remember this? Do you know what punting is? Okay, punting is where you um, on a boat with a big stick. It used to do it down in Cambridge and Oxford. They used to do that all the time. Okay, punting. Okay. And so imagine that you're punting on a lake, and at the same time you're taking notes. So you're punting and taking notes. Very dangerous. Don't I don't recommend it in real life. Okay. Punting and taking notes because you're taking apuntes, apuntes. <laughs> okay. I didn't say this had to be sensible, by the way. Next. Here. Here. Now, can you remember when we did there, we said a i a -i, yeah, an e over there. Well, here is a -ki. So what I'd like you to imagine is look down at your feet 
and at your feet you'll see a big golden key, very big golden key, a key. A key, which is here at your feet. A key, here at your feet. Ok? A key. Muy bien, vamos muy bien. We're going really well. Next, landlord. Landlord, now this is somebody who um, owns your house and charges you rent. Ok? A landlord. Now, that word is arrendador. Arrendador. Okay, so imagine your landlord is coming for the rent and knocking on the door. He wants the rent, so he's knocking on the door. Arrendador. Your landlord. Arrendador. Okay, next one is like this. Like this. Now that is así, así. Okay. And this is how you're going to remember it. You say, ah, well, I see it. I see it like this. I see it like this. I see like this. I see like this. Okay. This one, very easy. Aventura. Adventure. Okay, now, in English we say ad adventure, but in Spanish there's no D. The D is out of it. They just say aventura. And of course the V is like a B sound, so they say aventura. Okay, so you've just got to be careful. Aventura, so drop out the D. The D is out. The dunce is out and it's in the corner. Aventura. And then the last one in the series of A's is aeroplane. An aeroplane is avión. Avión. Okay? Avión. Now, this is how you're going to remember it. Imagine that you're on the plane and you're drinking a bottle of Evian water. You're drinking Evian in the avion. So you're on the plane and you're drinking Evian on the plane. So, avion, aeroplane, drinking Evian on the plane. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the A's. Now I'm going to do a quick check. So I will tell you the Spanish, you tell me the English. Are you ready? So here we go. Año. Año. So you're remembering the words like annual and annuity, which are to do with a year. Yeah, exactly. Next one. Antes. Antes. And maybe you're imagining your uncle's arriving before your antes, because it's before. Exactly. Antiguo. Antiguo. Sounds like antique, and if it's antique, that means it's old. That's right, old, antiguo. Apodo. Apodo. You open up the peapod and what's in it? Your nickname, exactly. Okay. Apuntes. Apuntes. So you're punting on the lake. You're punting on the lake. And at the same time, what are you doing? You're taking notes about how good you're doing it. So notes are apuntes. Then we've got aquí, aquí. So you look at your feet and you've got a big golden key and it's here. Aquí is here, exactly. What about this one? Arrendador, arrendador. 
So he's coming for his rent and he's banging on the door. Who is it? It's the landlord, Arrendador. Así. Así. Así it like this. Así like this. Aventura. Aventura, easy, isn't it? Adventure with a D. And then the last one, avión, avión. And I'm drinking Evian on the plane. Avión, a plane. Okay, so that's it, that's the end of the A's. I'll see you in the next audio, on the next video, where, in which we'll be dealing with the B's. Excellent, only 25 more letters to go. Muy bien, chicos, me voy y nos vemos. Hasta luego.